Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel for a brand new Modern Warfare video. And guys, today in this video, man, I'm actually going to be showing you some brand new settings that Infinity Ward actually put into the game. And also I updated some of the settings that I already have. Now, I know I've been doing settings videos uh, a lot quite recently and just basically showing them off. And I know it can get a little bit repetitive and annoying, but I'm gonna be honest, for whatever reason, they do super well and people really seem to enjoy them. So I'm just bringing you guys the content that you apparently want. But at this point, it actually does make sense because in this 1.17 update they did actually add a super beneficial thing that you definitely need to change in your settings after this update so we're going to get into that but before we do of course if you guys enjoy call of duty news gameplays updates and much much more make sure you guys click the like button let's see if we can get 30 likes and also subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel in this video shout out it's going to go to texas derek so thank you for having notifications on bro if you guys want to win it in the next video make sure that you do of course hit the sub button with the post notification bell turned on and then comment down below hashtag bell gang you guys will get a shout out in a future video now pretty much with that out of the way let's dive into these settings and hopefully you can find something useful with them so let's go right over to our controller settings if you don't know by now i actually use a scuff controller i almost dropped it right there but i have two paddles on the back this one is synced to circle and the other one is synced to x so i can jump and slide with both of my paddles and that's pretty much why i have all of these button layouts and stick layouts on default i've already went over this a thousand times so that is pretty much why i have those on normal i would recommend if you guys have a normal controller though to either put it on tactical or where is stick and move basically stick and move you can jump with your r3 which is super useful and then i'm pretty sure tactical and with tactical you can melee with circle and then you can crouch prone whatever with r3 so it's basically flipped if you choose tactical or stick and move but like i said i was a scuff so there's literally no point I mean, running those. Now, my sensitivity, this is one thing that I have not changed. I'm staying on 8.8 for now. I might change it in like a couple of months, but as of right now, I'm still super comfortable on 8.8. The sensitivity that I did run a little bit ago was a 13.13, and that just got a little bit too hectic, but I think an 8.8 for right now is super comfortable because what a lot of the pros recommend is anywhere from like a 4 to a 6, but I'm still kind of above that range, so I don't know. I might test it at like a 4 to a 6. I'm really not too sure, but if you guys did notice, I actually have a right control freak, so I can kind of manage my 8 sensitivity with that control freak a little bit better because if you guys don't know basically control freaks they help you uh pinpoint your accuracy and just make it so you have a longer range over your thumbstick and I'm not gonna lie to you control freaks really do help out so in that sense i'm just keeping on an 8.8 for now now these three options right here your ads sensitivity and your aim response curve type you guys definitely want to keep these on standard in 1.1 because this has not been an option in any single other call of duty so if you go ahead and change these right now most likely your settings in future call of duties or if you go back to a pattern call of duty will be super screwed up and your accuracy will not be on point so definitely just do not change these at all if you have it on something else put it back to 1 1 because i can promise you when black ops 5 comes out or whatever the next trail caught is that your accuracy will definitely be messed up because more than likely there will be some sort of option in that cod than this one so you definitely don't want to keep changing and changing it everything like that it's basically just common sense but if you guys want to change it go ahead and do so i'm just saying and then this is kind of 50 50 i think more people are starting to lean towards disabling controller vibration i was one of the people that used to have it on and i'm pretty sure i disabled like year two of black ops 3 and it just got so much better because one it just got super annoying and two it can met like those little vibrations can mess up your aim now back to what i was saying is that you guys definitely don't want to change your aim assist type disabling is obviously just stupid and then precision and focusing i'm really not even too sure if these give good enough of a difference to change it from standard man because like i said no other call of duty has had a aim assist aim assist change like this so if you put it onto something like precision or focusing then your aim assist will be screwed up in any future or past call of duty so it's just really not that smart to do or change any of that stuff and that's just me being completely honest with you is so make sure that you definitely do not change your aim assist your aim response curve type or your ads sensitivity now all of these are pretty much the same for me when i get the game now one thing that i did change from my previous settings video is i actually did change my slide behavior to tap now the reason why you guys should change your slide behavior to tap is i will put a card at the top of the screen right now right above my face and basically 
basically there is a movement in modern warfare called the slide cancel now you guys probably want to go check out that video but i'm just going to give a brief explanation of what the slide cancel is right now it's basically where instead of doing a full slide you can actually do a half slide so throughout your slide you will actually have your gun drawn when you go back up it's what all the pro players use and it's super super useful so definitely after this video is done go check that one out because it's very very helpful man so 100 change your slide behavior to tap just for that and that's a little bit of an extra tip that i'm going to give you is a slide cancel so like i said go check out that video after this one and as far as these three settings go there's really no point in changing those either now on to my general settings a question that i get a lot is why is your game so like bright and vibrant and how do you make the colors look so good this actually has nothing to do with the game at all it's actually my recording software my Elgato my capture card pretty much and you can add saturation brightness and tweak everything in the software to make your colors look good it's what all the youtubers do so as far as my brightness and everything there's really no point in changing that in game because I can just control it through the software one thing that you should definitely do is turn your film grain down to zero because essentially what this is going to do this is going to make your gameplay a lot clear because as you can tell from the left and the right picture if you have your film grain up up, it basically creates noise which is those like little fine black and white dots sometimes colored dots and it just looks basically disgusting if I'm being honest with you so there's no point in changing that and I would recommend having subtitles off because it just takes up a little bit too much of your screen that you really don't need it to be taking up obviously unless you have a hearing problem then sure turn subtitles on but other than that I mean there's really no point in having them on if I'm being honest with you I also don't have a colorblind type on but one thing that you guys 100% want to do is change off world motion blur and weapon motion blur this is the first thing that you want to do when you get the game and literally everybody every cod youtuber will tell you this just change off motion blur as soon as you get the game because i know there's still some people i see their gameplay and they still have motion blur on and most of the time they don't even know that there's a setting to turn it off and they have no clue what it is but as you can tell by the pictures it basically just creates blur every time you move and it makes your gameplay look super crusty and just hazy and foggy and there's really no point in having it on unless you like ugly gameplay so now what i was saying and you guys are going to want to change 110 percent this is a new setting that they brought into the game and it's very very crucial that you change this you guys are going to want to change your mini map from round to square and literally as you can tell by the pictures it creates so much more space on your mini map you can see people that are down in the left right in the bottom and top corners as you can tell if you have that circle you're not going to get that extra space on the mini map and it can definitely save your life if you're playing on a large map such as like maybe piccadilly euphrates bridge or something like that and you can't see an enemy up in those corners well now you can if you have the square mini map on and it's definitely useful so a hundred percent change that setting it's the newest feature in modern warfare and it's a game changer for sure man you will not see me rock and circle anymore now onto my audio settings i'm gonna go over something briefly right here that i actually did change now in my past settings video i was mistaken as to where i said home theater was the audio mix that you guys should use because what i'm referring to right now is there is an audio mix in past call of duty specifically in black ops 3 called super crunch and it's what all the pros use because super crunch allowed you to hear those little Find sounds and footsteps a lot better and basically allowed you to sound horror if you know what that term is it's basically just if you guys are in a clutch situation in s and d then you guys are the last person alive you can sound horror in your headset it's especially good if you have astros or a high quality headset and you can basically just hear where enemies are at all times and those little footsteps can definitely make a difference so instead of having it on a home theater change it to boost high i was mistaken somebody told me to test it in that previous video and I actually did find out that Boost High was the most similar to Super Crunch. So thank you for ever pointed that out in my previous video. I really appreciate that. And then I also got a lot of questions as to why my master volume was on 10. Now, the reason why this is on 10 is because my Elgato software is like super weird. I've had so many problems with my recording software and OBS that for whatever reason, Modern Warfare is just super loud when it comes to gameplay. So just to balance it out, especially when I'm streaming and I'm playing music all the sounds need to be balanced obviously so the only way that i could do that and the only way that makes sense is to just lower down the master volume in game because my elgato and everything will boost the game audio 
in the software anyways. So that's the reason why I was so high and I figured I would just turn it down in game. That's the most simple reason you guys don't have to. It's just personally what I do for your guys' sake and mine just so it doesn't sound like there's 50 things going on in my headset at once. And that's pretty much all we need to know for the audio settings. A couple of things that I would recommend is turning your jug music off and keeping your hit marker sounds on MW because it definitely does, uh, does really, that's basically all we need to know for the audio settings. But a couple of things that I would recommend is turning your jug music off because if you ever do get a juggernaut, it can get pretty annoying. And then also I would change your hit marker sounds to the MW mix because it just sounds a lot more satisfying compared to the other ones. And that's basically about it. You don't really have to do anything with voice chat. So pretty much now that we've went through all the categories, a few things that I want you guys to take away from this video is to definitely not mess around with any of these things right here, your ADS sensitivity or your aim response curve type or aim assist. Do not mess around with any of those in your general settings and definitely turn down your film grain and also turn off subtitles and then also turn off your motion blur and change your mini map to square. That's basically about it and what I would recommend changing and you taking away from this video. So if this did help you guys out in any sort of way, you guys can let me know by dropping a like down below. Let's see if we get 30 likes and pretty much with that out of the way, man, I'm going to let you guys go. Let me know what you found most helpful in this video down in the comments. That's pretty much it for me, man. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.